What is going on guys, DBG here, in this video we are going to be doing a gameplay with the new Eddie Curry card. So if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, we are trying to hit as many subscribers as possible by 2k21, realistically, probably 215k is the goal. And also lads, also, we upload more of my team content than anyone else. You guys can see it, we've already done gameplays with Dino, we've done gameplays with Yao, we've done a gameplay with Yanis, we've done a gameplay with Lamelo Ball, and we have also... That is it. <laughs> We're also probably going to do Cam Reddish and Mirasan and probably leave that for today. So we've already uploaded six videos today. This might end up being the record where we upload nine videos, which could be absolutely crazy. But yes, yeah, so if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. Also, lads, if you could leave a like, to be greatly, greatly appreciated. I don't think I've stopped working. I think I've left my desk to eat for 20 minutes today over the last like nine hours. But um more than nine hours i guess but uh yeah so eddie curry 58 hall of fame badges he has got drop stepper anchor breaker lobsity finisher clamps heart crusher intimidator interceptor also got a range extender and quick draw as well hall of fame obviously he's a 69 to 75 total badges as well downhill handles for days quick first step tight handles and pluckable as well as 11 gold badges. He's got 96 post to fade away. He has got a 94 mid range, 91 three, which is really, really good. Also got a fantastic driving and standing dunk. Got an 87 ball handle, 96 block, 90 perimeter defense, 97 interior defense, 82 steals, really good. 97 offense and defensive rebounding, 94 speed, 90 speed of ball, 94 acceleration, 99 strength, 97 vertical, 90 lateral quickness, as well as that, his tendencies. He has got really, really good. Like, again, almost no foul tendencies. He's a great uh, defensive tendency. So, all I'm saying is, I am very, very happy that I did not pick up Boogie Cousins. Also, I'll, also I'm going to see, because if I'm running like my best possible team, it would be something along the lines of these guys right here. And then maybe I put Hito in, maybe Wiseman. So, the real comparison is, I personally prefer Dino to Wiseman just because he can shoot from the corners. But then we've got Eddie to Wiseman as the comparison, especially because James Wiseman, I sure he has to have gone way down in price. I sure he has to have gone way down. Like yeah, Wiseman was 400K yesterday and he's right now 200K. Eddie's around the 100K mark. So like it all depends on how good he is. So I might keep, I might sell Wiseman. I'm not entirely sure. Either way though, it's a, it's a good problem to have when you're kind of arguing between like, in my opinion, the best center in the game in my opinion, it probably goes Kareem, Dino. I'm not the biggest fan of the two GOAT, Wilt, Wilt. I'm not the biggest fan of Wilt, Shaq, or Yao, the three GOAT cards. For me, it would be Kareem, followed by Dino, followed by Eddie Curry slash Wiseman. One of those three, two guys for that position. But again, they're in that conversation. Then there's the three GOAT cards. And I think there's a big gap then until the likes of Joel Embiid and stuff. So anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it. This is the team I'm running with. Now we're going to get the hot zones and release for Eddie. Then we're going to get on to the game. So Eddie Curry has got base 38, which is, is basically Lamella ball base, the fastest release in the game. I do prefer on goal. I think it's a lot easier to time on goal quick draw because you don't have to release, like you basically have to release square button a good bit before you release the ball and time it right. Like it's a fairly weird one to time. I think I've gotten used to it because I have shot around a little bit with Eddie Curry before, but it is not the, uh, not the easiest release to time, but it is the fastest release in the game. So can't complain too much about it. Obviously, going to the basket is dunking is going to be really, really good. It's Eddie Curry. Post game rebounding and stuff. He's got a wide player build. Obviously, he's got. I think he's he got the same wing. No, he doesn't have the same wingspan as Shaq. He's got a 7 5 wingspan compared to Shaq 7 7. But in my opinion, the jump shot alone puts him above the uh, the go Shaq, in my opinion. But let's have a look at the six. So, his behind the back, I don't think is great. Okay, that's Pro 4. It's KD's behind the back. But one of the things is that he is KD Sigs like. Like even though it is KD's behind the back, it's kind of slow. And he's not, he isn't going to feel as fast as his speed would suggest. He can tween up and down the floor, which is a good thing. And has a really great hop step as well. So he's going to be able to do everything. Like he's going to be able to guard everybody. He's going to be able to tween up and down the floor. He's going to be able to, you're going to be able to use him as your primary ball handler. You're going to be able to use him as a pick and pop center. You're going to be able to use him as a running center. At this stage in the game, pretty much every card is perfect, so you can use them in every single style. And at this stage, there is no point for specialist cards. Well, it depends. If you're on a budget, then you can use specialist cards. Like you can use like JaVale McGee and stuff, or a, a Pink Diamond Sick Man have success. But 
Man, this card right here is going to be so good. He is going to be so, so good. So anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it. Now let's go on three, and now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we're playing against a few nice budget players in Wade, Jordan, and Manning. However, not good in Wiseman and Hampton. That version of Hampton is not very good. And he has also got Thad Young, Harrington, Exum. A few okay players on his bench, but we should be good. We should be fine here. Especially because I don't think that Wiseman is clamps. Oh, it's open. Oh, he took a really weird... He went for a jump as he there, which was not the right decision to make. And we have not gone to a freelance, so... We're there. We're open, and we sold. Let's hit him again. Now I got Jordan on him. Up step in, fake him up. And Eddie Curry makes the layup. Let's go. Scoring on Jordan on the perimeter is uh, isn't the worst thing in the world. That's pretty good. Okay, I wonder what offense that was. Whatever it was, it was a pretty decent offense. Again, I'm not worried in the slightest about that RJ Hampton card. I don't think he's gonna, he doesn't have range as far as I know anyway, so I don't think he's gonna be able to do much against me. And I was off to Eddie. Yeah, let's go to Eddie. Oh, it's way too deep. Oh, that's not a good shot to shoot. That's better. And it's green, good shot. There we go, that's what we need to take. You need to take them type of shots. Shooting from dude too deep, there's just no point in it. There's just no point in it at all. A defense. Okay, who's coming off what flare screen? That's that's the big question. Someone has to be coming off a flare screen with these type of plays. Like with the amount of people that are up high, where is the flare screen coming from? We just left RJ Hampton wide open for some reason. I just don't know why my player just ran away from Hampton. It does like it does not make sense what my players were doing. We have him. I'm not entirely sure again that, that Wiseman has clamps. If he doesn't have clamps, we can just run by him every possession. I'm not gonna do it because that's kind of it's almost cheating for a gameplay. Because it doesn't, uh, it's not a fair rec or reflection on a player if I just run by someone with no, with no clamps all game. He looks like he's, I don't know what this play is. It's hard to, I don't know what it is, so it's hard to read. Hence why just using, you are against someone like me, you're going to have more success just running a random playbook and just calling it random plays than uh, running with the Miami Heat playbook. Good job drawing the defenders. And that's green, good chat. Because if I if I have no idea what's going on in the plays, and I means I can't predict, I can't predict exactly what's going on, which is a lot tougher. And someone to running quick horns for flare over and over again. It's good defense. Why wait? What what are you doing, Eddie? We got blessed right there. That he triggered a weird animation. But what was Eddie Curry doing? Oh, give me that. And uh, that's green. Let's go, Eddie. Nope. Do not take it. I should have probably taken that. See if he runs away. If he does, I'm just taking that shot. Like, if he wants to run away, like, that's barely a contest. I'm going to take that shot every single time. Good start to this game, though. So we now have an 11 point lead. And that is uh, another white there by RJ Hampton. RJ Hampton is. You're two, he's 2 or 2 on whites from 3. We got him with a cross, run to the basket, hop step in, fake up, and it's a. Good layup there by Eddie Curry. His card's crazy. He's crazy good. Again, I don't know if he's quite Dino, but he's still crazy good. Like, And, man, that's a good move right there. Deep hash magic behind the back off the screen. That's wide open, and that's green again by Eddie Curry. Eddie Curry's so good. Like, this guy, is, this guy knows what he's doing. He just doesn't have the great... Not even the greatest team. Like, his team's not that bad. It's just the Wiseman card. Like, he's just one very bad card in his team. Like, Hampton's not good, but he's not awful. The rest of his team, though, is okay. And he knows what he's doing. Like, he's running in circles. He's running in circles. And, like, when I mean running in circles, I mean, like, he's, like, actually properly running deep hash. Like, he's attacking proper angles. So he actually does know what he's doing. As Eddie goes by him, hop steps in, fake up, fake. It wide open Karolenko, who greens. There we go. Good job there by Eddie Curry. Okay, just like that. Just like that, we have managed to really get a big lead right here. And he sells on the Edwards. Full court from Eddie Curry. It's off. Okay, I literally just walked by him. Is he still playing or is he gone? 
Because I just walked by him right there. No, he's still playing. And my aura button stopped working. Love that. Love when that happens. Just press X until I switch onto my center or someone that's off play. There we go. We hard off ball. We hard off ball. The aura button's not working, so there's no point because we can't rotate. And they go right down and hit another white. The amount of whites he's hitting is ridiculous. That's his range. And that's green there by Kareem. Let's go. Yeah, and I'm scoring at a seriously high rate because I'm shooting very well, but still though. My defense leaves a lot to be desired. My defense leaves a lot to be desired. People with teams like this should not be dropping this many points on me in a, in a half. My God, he just hit another wide three. Like I can't, I don't know what's going on. He's shooting 70% from three and I don't think he's greened any of them yet. I don't, I genuinely, I'm not sure he's greened one. I know he's green a midi. I don't think he's green a three. I know he's green multiple midis actually. Hop step in. Good dunk, Eddie Curry. But he's shooting 70% on whites. And he's shooting a fair amount of them as well. It's not like it's like 70% on. Well, there's no way of making 70% without 10. It has to be at least 10 if you're shooting that percentage. Green that. Nope. We blew up, but we hit it. Let's go. At least, considering that we're greening, at least we deserve to make a few whites. 9 of 13 for the field right now. I really couldn't care less. That Wiseman card's terrible. I don't care. Couldn't care less if he hits a shot from the corner. Do not let... Do not let RJ Hampton shoot the ball. He's got no range, but he can still score from, from around 3. Um, We got it, do we? No, he didn't. But that's a good board there by Eddie Curry. That was a foul. Good job. Okay, let's knock these two down. It's the first. And Eddie Curry is two for two. Up step in. Kick corner. And we sold with Siakam. Great board by Eddie Curry. And we green this time with Siakam. Let's go. Give me that. That's a terrible release as well as a terrible jump shot. We are cleaning up on the offensive boards, though, as Giannis goes and Green's right there. Get over that, get over that, get over that. Eddie. It's fine, not the biggest deal in the world. My defensive, set, my defensive settings do not allow me to do anything smart in that situation, so that's always going to happen. Hop step in. Good dunk there by Eddie Curry. Ah, Giannis, how do you miss that? That is off. Let's go. He greened one three, and now two K start making him miss all the white, miss the whites. Spin, pick him up. Got him jumping. Oh man, that stupid contest from no contest out of nowhere. Put the hook. Not that animation. We got so lucky. That animation does not go in very often. That's a good shot, KP. Let's go. Well, I'm, Porzingis has really become a cone for me, and he's doing so well. At, he's playing so well for me as at that role, at, as a as a cone. Like he's doing so well, just getting in lanes and hitting wide open jumpers. As well as the fact he's obviously a seven foot two two or seven foot three two guy, which does help. It's open, and that is a sell by Porzingis. Is that too deep? No, it's not. That's green on the buzzer from Kareem. And we have a 24-point lead going into the fourth. This dude, this dude just messaged me telling, like, telling me to on-ball. Imagine complaining about off-ball in 2020. When if you on-ball, literally, the CPU just leaves random people open. Like, you can't, you can't simply on-ball Deepash. Like, you've got to, because if you, if someone's running Deepash, and you on-ball that player, one, even if you do stop the player, the rest of your team are doing something dumb, like. Like, you simply cannot. Just like if somebody tries to on-ball me, I will beat them 100% of the time. It's just not a viable tactic. The way people play this game, the way people have learned to exploit this game, um, on-balling is no longer a viable tactic. It just simply isn't. It just simply isn't. It's not, he's not on-balling he's not on -balling himself. What's he talking about? What is he talking about? Like, I just made a really dumb pass right there. But like, what is he actually talking about? Giving out about me on off-balling when you're doing the exact same thing. I'm not complaining about it because it's the only way to play this game. You can't play... 
The AI is so dumb. Off ball. If you are on, on ball, you are going to lose. Like, simple, simple as that. Like, on balling cannot stop. The only reason, like, you have to do, like, the situation is like there. Like, switch to on ball, it'll allow me to get the steal. I'm out of position now, so I have to switch back to on ball. Like, there's times where you have to switch to it, but you can't exclusively on ball and expect to win in this. Not even expect to win, expect for your players to not do dumb things in this game. It's just not how this game works. Right to the basket. Let's go, Eddie Curry. Good dunk right there on Thad Young. And Eddie Curry's so good. He is so good. I'm actually letting him shoot 12, 16 from the field. That's not good enough. Just not good enough. We got to get a hand on that. We got to be better than that. Come on. But yeah, we good defense. Good defense. Can't really do much here. Good defense. Great defense. And he got lucky. That's fine. It's great defense. Doesn't matter. Sometimes the his offense is better than your defense. As we go right to the basket, swatted from behind. Just go grab the ball, Jimmy. Go grab the ball. Take a fade away ourselves. And we green it. Good shot there, Baddy Curry. And they green the three. Where was this in the first quarter when he went seven of seven of ten from whites? Why would you rage quit now? That doesn't make sense. Why'd you wait till now to rage quit? Not when you're 24 10 down in the first quarter. So anyway, that's the video. I'm telling you right now, this card's so good. <laughs> this card is so good. He is so much better than Embiid and Demarcus Cousins. It is actually crazy. Like, yeah, I don't think he's on Kareem level. He's comparable with Dino. He's comparable with Wiseman. I still think Kareem's the best center in this game. The more I've used Dino, the more I think, you know what, Kareem is better. But that number two spot between Eddie, Dino, Goat Shaq, Goat Wilt, James Wiseman, the fight for the number two center in this game is very much on and he is in that conversation unbelievable card and he's less than 100 kmt so anyway that's the video thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe i think you only love me because i'm popping this a layup this a rebound then it's driving tasting with the fade not there my hands rocking when i link with ball point you know it's not